Avpoint Cloud Backup for Office 365 can be used to protect Office 365 content, such as what's in your Exchange Online mailboxes, your OneDrives, your SharePoint Online site collections, and your Microsoft Teams. Cloud Backup can be licensed a number of different ways, and if you're curious as far as how much content is actually being protected against what you are licensed for, based on the amount that you have in the various scopes or the number of users, for instance, you can see that in a Cloud Backup report. To access consumption information related to your Cloud Backup license, log in to Avpoint Cloud Backup. Over on the left, expand Office 365 Backup, and then expand Reporting. The first report there is called the License Consumption Report. In License Consumption, you have three tabs, the Dashboard, the Usage, and the Utilization. On the Dashboard tab, the first thing you'll see is your total license. I'm using a trial environment here, so my license is pretty small. It tells me I've got two gigs capacity, and then below that it explains to me a little bit about how that particular license actually works. To the right of that, I can see total amount of license that's being consumed, that is essentially based around how much data I'm protecting, how much of my license has already been burned through. Since I'm only protecting two gigs, I'm at 95% capacity here. Again though, in this trial environment, this number is really low. Real world, you'd be protecting much more, but still, you may be very close to capacity. To the right, we can see total license consumers based on specific scopes. You'll notice OneDrive does not show up here because I'm actually not protecting OneDrive. In this example, if I go back to home, you can see I've got it turned off. We are protecting Project Online, but that's also not showing in the report. And the reason for that is we actually don't have any Project Online data. So even though technically the backup is looking for it and is completing the backup jobs, it's just not finding any in my example here, and that's why it's not showing up. Office 365 Groups contains both Groups and Microsoft Teams, and that's where this number comes from. Down towards the bottom, we can see the single largest consumer, and you can see it's a site collection in SharePoint Online. And then we have a little bit of usage history. I've been using this test environment only for a few days, but over time, this will plot out and show you trends. Back up under Top License Consumers, you can click any of these individual scopes to drill down and see more information. So if I'm seeing that SharePoint Online is my number one consumer, I can click that, and now I can jump directly to the Utilization tab, where I can click through the scope types and then review the specific objects within that scope. So here we can see SharePoint Online at 51% total consumption of my license. And here is the largest individual site collections. And then it goes down in decreasing values. I can click through groups and also exchange online and be able to see which of my mailboxes are actually the largest. The usage tab is very similar to the usage history in that it shows us trends. So right now in this environment, I'm not seeing too much, but over the course of several months, this will plot out for me and give me an idea of what my storage trends are doing in relation to what's being protected by Cloud Backup. So once again, the dashboard gives us a nice snapshot of what license we are consuming, the total amount of that license that is consumed, and then it breaks it down for me by scope. Utilization lets you dig through those particular scope types to see the largest down to smallest consumers. And the Usage tab will give you trends over time. If at any point, if you exceed your license, you will also get notifications from Cloud Backup the next time you log in and through email that you are out of policy with the license. At that point, it's in your interest to reach out to us at Avpoint to ensure that we work together to resolve the license overages. Thanks for watching this short video on accessing and reading the license consumption report in Avpoint Cloud Backup for Office 365.